you get an egg to stand on its end? The answer, as you will see, determined not only the fate of Brunelleschi, but how Florence, Italy would be drawn. Brunelleschi was an architect during the Renaissance and the discoverer, rediscoverer of linear perspective. My name is Kaylee Anderson, and this presentation about Filippo Brunelleschi takes its factual content from the PBS documentary, Medici, Godfathers of the Renaissance, biography.com's page on the life of Brunelleschi, and a survey taken from the audience. The survey revealed that 100% are unaware of Brunelleschi's existence, and over half have little interest in architecture. However, over 70% enjoy math or science, which are two prominent subjects in the foundation of architecture. Also, less than 1% have ancestral background in Italy, therefore visuals of Florence will be included. I will start by introducing you to Brunelleschi and how he got into architecture, then discuss his discovery or rediscovery of linear perspective, and lastly, you will learn how to stand an egg on its end. Let's start from the beginning. Florence, Italy, 1377. Oh, my drawing must be wrong. There, that is the Florence Brunelleschi was born into. According to PBS, Brunelleschi grew up humbly and dreamed of becoming a great sculptor. At the age of 24, Brunelleschi lost a sculpting competition. He then left Florence, <laughs> went to go study architecture among the ruins of Rome. While there, he is thought to have discovered or found linear perspective. What is that? Linear perspective, think of it as a 3D movie. Its representation is much different to that than a 2D movie, where space is concerned. Linear perspective, by definition, according to biography.com, is the representation of space on a flat surface. It is unknown to who discovered linear perspective first, because ancient Romans are thought to have known about it. However, it was lost, or known, until Brunelleschi discovered it. Rearmed with Rome's secrets, Brunelleschi returned to Florence. There, he competed in a competition for the Santa Maria di Floridon. PBS tells us that this time he achieved his victory by asking the judges, and I quote, how do you get an egg to stand on its end? Well, no one can get that egg to balance. So, Brunelleschi, smack. This, of course, caused the egg's bottom to break. And it stood. Cheat, they probably said. But that was the beauty of his design. Simplicity. The dome was completed in 1436. Ten years later, Brunelleschi was buried in the Santa Maria de Glory, beneath his dome. To review, Filippo Brunelleschi was a famous architect of the Renaissance and either the discoverer or rediscoverer of linear perspective. He came from humble beginnings, but managed to redraw the skyline of Florence. There, my representation was correct. And along his way to his architectural greatness, he found linear perspective. What does this deceased architect offer you? Well, Brunelleschi got his inspiration for his dome from an egg. Therefore, what will inspire your greatest achievement? 